Don't give a second thought about until there is a problem. Natural gas and the steps energy companies are taking to keep us safe. Collin County reporter Catherine Ross has more from Atmos Energy's training center. When natural gas fuels a fire, most times homes don't stand a chance. So whenever in the fire service, I can say we're afraid of anything, but that really concerns us when we can't see something. If we can't see it, we can't fight it. It isn't something Richardson Fire Training Chief Kenneth Jacks takes lightly. He says he's learned about the danger firsthand, as did Plano police last year when dealing with the actions of Anson Chi, now headed to federal prison for tampering with an Atmos regulator station. When we had all of our calls coming in, there were a lot of questions that I didn't know. We know about natural gas, we know the book smart stuff, but until you get hands on, it's totally different. It's the reason they partnered with Atmos Energy for training. Natural gas is colorless, it is odorless, it is tasteless. And while major events can make the headlines, there's also the day-to-day -day maintenance, routine stuff that keeps us all safe. Our first concern is about safety. And Measures and like odorizing you know, gas to alert us to danger. Then there are the trucks patrolling our neighborhoods, finding leaks before we know they're there. Plus the ins and outs of cleaning pipelines part of the pressure of keeping gas where it belongs. In Plano, Catherine Ross, NBC5. Atma says if you do suspect a gas leak, get out of there. Plus, don't turn on any electronics or turn them off because that could spark a fire. There is a dangerous delay in the investigation into an explosion.